This video will show how you can use your Miltronics control to create a conversational program for a rough turning operation. First you'll select F8 program, F2 conversational edit, F2 new. Now give your file a name, we'll call this step rod, and hit enter. Now in your first event you can type your program name again, it's not required. And you can program in either inch or metric. We'll program an inch for this example. Now we'll define our stock size, material length. We'll say it's five inches and a three inch diameter. And it'll be solid material so we can leave that field blank. If it be tubing, you'd enter the ID of the tubing. If it'd be one and a half inch ID, you'd enter one and a half. For solid, let's leave it blank. And if you want to leave setup notes for your operator, you can do so in this area. Now hit F1 store. Now F7 tool change. We'll use tool number one. You can give it a description, you don't have to. We'll say it's our turning tool. And you can feed per rev or per minute. We'll do feed per rev. We'll say 10 thou per rev. And your spindle can be programmed constant surface speed or RPM. If you want to set a max RPM for your spindle, you can do so here. Your constant surface speed. And if you want to stop command after your tool change, you can select program or optional. Select the spindle direction, clockwise or counterclockwise. And you can also select the coolant on or off. After all your information is filled out on this page, select F1 store. And now we'll pick F2 turn, F1 start. Now you have the option of having a rough turning setup or a pattern repeat turning setup. For this example we'll use the rough turning setup. X finish stock is if you want to leave a certain amount of material to come back with the finishing tool. So we're going to leave 10 thou on X and 10 thou on our Z. X and Z rough stock for both of these. After it gets done taking its rough pattern steps, it's going to come back and make one final roughing profile pass. So you just tell it the amount you're going to leave for the final roughing profile pass on X and Z. And now give it your first X depth, and this will be for your diameter. We'll see our first X depth is going to be at 3 inches, even though we're using 3 inch material. Our cut increment, that will be on the radius of the part. So we'll say 125 thousandths radial depth. Leave the relief as pattern. Clearance, we'll set that to 100 thou. Compensation, we'll leave it off for this example, but you can toggle left or right depending on what kind of geometry and tool you're using. Start point, we'll add 100 thou in X and 100 thou in Z. And now this pattern number, it has a note here, the geometry between this event and the end of cycle define the pattern. And this number will be associated with the following lines of geometry. So we'll call this pattern number one and hit store. And now we're going to define our lines of geometry that we want the cutter to move upon. So the first thing we'll do is put F2 line and we already fill out our feed rate, so we don't have to do anything there. We'll just give it our uh, dimensions of the part. So we'll make a step rod and we'll say it's a one inch diameter and 100 thou off. F1 store. Now another line, F2. And at the one inch diameter, we're going to turn it back to three quarters of an inch. F1 store. Now another line, and our diameter now at this area will be 2 inch diameter, F1 store. Now another line, now with the 2 inch diameter we'll turn it back to inch and a half in Z, hit F1 store, F2 for another line, and we'll turn it out to a 3 inch diameter. 
F1 store, F6 end your cycle, and F1 store the end of cycle event. Now if you'd want to come back with the finishing pass with the finishing tool, you can just select F8 finish, and now here's where you enter your pattern number, like we called our geometry pattern number one, so we'll enter one here. If you want to change the feed rate, when we roughed it, we used 10 thou per rev. Let's finish it with 7 thou per rev. Or leave our spindle speed the same. And the start point will be 3.1 on the diameter and 100 thou off the part. F1 store. And that's going to complete our turning cycle program. Now we're going to hit F11 preview. And that previews all of our lines of geometry. You can see our step rod here. If we hit F11 solid, it'll give our solid model. And we can hit F1 rotate. And go to XZ view. And escape again. Preview it as a solid model. And there is your, your uh, verified part. Here we rotate as isometric view. You can see your different diameters in your tool graphic. And here is your name of your program. Here's your basic rough time estimation. You can also hit escape and hit F10. It's a different mode for your graphics. You can go to a wireframe. You can do a solid model graphic with your tool path shown, which is kind of nice. So that completes our video for our rough turning cycle. Thank you.